Uh -huh. Okay then, let's do it this way. We have safely secured via wall mounted plugs and washers um, the 100 watt flexible solar panel quite thin look you see there it's very flexible does what it says on the tin 36 squares solar um, I got straight into the cast look sorry yeah good evening it's David Indy um, Thursday the 1st of August and uh, I have upgraded the, uh, the tiny little uh, 6 inch by 10 inch 20 watt solar panel so that's uh, your outputs here clearly labelled with your positives and your negative terminal so you don't get confused and then what I've done is I've put them there I've put some extenders on you go onto uh, the apps from um, Geek and Wish yeah, and you get some solar power solar panel and um, power cable extenders and what happened is they come with two um, silver ends exposed which is actually a power controller if you haven't seen the setup before so I simply just connected the plugs in to there so then therefore it uh, safely seals waterproof weatherproof in there and then obviously they've gone into the uh, solar panel power input the white cable is the uh, cable that feeds out to the battery just in there I'll show you in a minute so outside what we have is power catcher 100 watt with solar power panel cable extensions on with the raw ends going into the bottom of there um, forgive my rudimentary setup it's just for this video and then the output of the power you got your 12.6 or something it's telling me there to feed on the display so we're all right and then that'll go through there and I will show you coming out of there is split rudimentary going down now this is a metal careful here because this is a aluminium metal -y type case behind this cardboard is uh, the terminals for the battery so what David's done in his wisdom is I've fitted the uh, the terminal battery um, you know, the battery terminals should I say onto the uh, the stubs that stick out so I've got uh, I'm not fixing straight onto a tiny little circle I'm uh, distributing and getting the power effectively through um, the correct terminal adapters for your battery stubs and uh, you've got the ones that one there the power in from here look the ones with the pink tape I've done like that so you can see that's your power in from the power pack outside um, to the 12 volt DC battery and then the uh, 6000 watt inverter with two plugs um, it's got 350 amp fuses inside and um, blade fuses for the car similar to your iron horse automobile four USBs two plugs um, upgraded from 1500 watt and uh, with a bit of luck he says he'll find the switch it's always got the fan on, the fan always comes on so it's quite noisy but you get a nice little readout, total volts, 50 hertz and 220 volts output so input is 12.6 reading the battery state. Right. If we get like um, a toaster or something, a TV and a microwave, it would run that effectively. But it would uh, it would need to be amp volt sufficient for the drain that you're going to be using. The drain on the 12 volt battery with the 120 um, amps in it. And that's going to give you 18 volts on the back of that there is some specification as to maximum output rating efficiency um, you would be required to get a few of these several batteries but uh, I'm enjoying playing and uh, keeping the battery topped up and see what I can get to uh, output and drain on there you see 12.5 and the weather it's not ideal to be uh, you know photons are quite low it's in there somewhere the Chelsea bun 
So uh, you've got to be wary of the low production days and what you have and drain and power and what you can put back in before nightfall and what you need through the night. So um, interesting. Yes, they was very easy to fit because uh, obviously from the panel, your power output, it's not very long. And on tube, they, they're clipping them here and they snip and they snip and then they get cables and extend all the way down to there. I'll bring that closer, but uh, I just thought there was three pound, four pounds shipped from China. Um, not good for the digital footprint. We should have all this localized and produced in, uh, in the landmass we're on, to be fair. So, you know, 3D printer, ahoy. Get your part numbers for them and uh, get them in England and you'll be making a fortune there. Straight in down that way, so uh, it would be better if that was mobile and could be turned on the top of your iron horse. It'd be better. You could have um, the equivalent of that. Um, come on, you see these? That washing dryer area there. We could modify that, strengthen them, and have them turning with solar panels on, um, cabled up with the mass output coming down into the controller box. So you'd harness those like a windmill, but turning in the sun. Some kind of uh, apparatus that would allow it to follow as the sun went so yeah i'm excited to see what we can do this year i'll get the hydrogen box out i'm going to start cutting and welding next so the uh the, the engine cleaning gas machine i've got i'll run from the uh the 12 volt battery and now on a nice hot sunny day and i'll get some um some metal to cut and we'll see what we can do with that and uh that's another little uh, one off the list so Thanks for watching, subscribing. I shall be back with more um, power, electric, copper, magnet experimentation and um, home sourced power. All right, so thank you very much, Grimes. Ciao for now. Mustache.